Hi, welcome to Analyze It. In this video, uh, we are going to talk about updating and data transformation automation, automation from Kobo Toolbox dataset using Power BI. More specifically, I will show you how to pull data from Kobo Toolbox in Power BI desktop. Then we'll see how to update a data set in Power BI desktop as new data are collected through Kobo Toolbox. And as a follow-up of this first video, we will uh, also see um, in the second video how to automate data transformation in Power BI as new data are collected through Kobo Toolbox. So what are the steps <clears throat> for pulling and updating data from Kobo Toolbox in Power BI? Basically, there are three steps um, for pulling and updating data from Kobo uh, Toolbox in Power BI. The first step is really to find the um, URL of your data set in Kobo Toolbox. And basically what you will need to do, you will need to go to the Kobo uh, REST uh, API and using this uh, link and find the URL for your data set. So this is something that you need to do in, in Kobo uh, REST API um, website. So once you find the URL, you basically need to import the data set in Power BI. But in this video, um, contrary to uh, the uh, previous video I released in three years ago, we will use uh, the web connection with Kobo account credential. So that means in this video, um, we will not um, allow um, um, you to will not allow our um, data set in Kobo Toolbox to be to be publicly shareable, and so we will um, not do this step, but will instead using um, the web connection and through the Kobo account credential, we will import the data set. And lastly, um, and we will mostly do this step in uh, the second video is to refresh um, the data set in Power BI. And what we mean by refreshing is that you will get the latest data to refresh all the transformation, all the column that you have made transformation, and also to refresh all the visuals that you have been in Power BI. So this is basically the three steps um, you, we will do um, in this um, first and the second video on how to um, pulling and updating data uh, from Kobo Toolbox in Power BI. So let's go over the first step, which is retrieving the URL for the data set sitting in um, your Kobo account. So as I mentioned in the first, in the previous slide, um, you need to go to the um, Kobo REST API to get this URL and the um, website to go to this uh, REST API is kc um, humanitarian response dot info slash API slash v1 slash. So we type this. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm repeating this is kc dot humanitarian response dot info slash api slash v1 slash and you get just click and you just click enter so once this um, um once the um kobo toolbox api um um endpoint um page is open you go to data api v1 data and here you will be asked to provide the username and the password of your kobo account in my case, I will type my um, my Kobo account username, which is uh, and I will enter my password and I sign in. Okay, so once I'm signed, you can see that my name is here. So I get, I go to get, and I click XLS. Okay. And then a new page, I click XLS, let me see. Um, yep, let me see what way it go because I have several screen. Um, XLS, OK. 
Okay. And you can see that um, I will be asked to, um, I can, I'm asked here, for example, to, um, I can open or show in the folder. So I will basically um, show in my folder. All right. Okay, so now I can open it and it will ask me which um, software I need. To, I want to open this. And typically you can use Notepad, Window, uh, Word, or WordPad, but I prefer to use Word. And then you can see a, a bunch of information um, that is showing. So basically, um, what um, these uh, are telling me is that um, these are the information for each of the um, data set I have in my Kobo account. For example, um, you can see um, each um, um, project or data set in Kobo account will start by order dict. And in the order dict, you will have the information for each of, um, um, of, of, your, of your data set. For example, you got the ID, ID string here, the title of your um, data set, and a description, and then the, the, the URL. My second um, um, data set in my Kobo account as you can see, it starts with ordered dict, and I have the ID for, for my second um, data set, the ID string for my second data set, the title, and the description, and then the URL. So basically, what you need to do is basically identify um, the, the title of your data set in um, Kobo Toolbox. So in my case, what I'm looking for, because I know um, my Kobo account, I have a data set called client. So this is the title, I'm looking for the title client, and then I'm looking immediately the URL after that. So I can see this is the URL. So I will copy the URL after, so HTTPS, you can see blah, 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 all this. And I will just copy it and paste it. I will paste it below because I have some trimming work to do. So I will paste it, as you can see. So I let me remove the bracket and I will remove everything from the end to the question mark. And I will remove this bracket here. All right, so this is basically what I need um, from the year that I need for my account, for my project that is named client. So if I wanted to have the, um, um, the, um, the URL for my um, data set called household, I will go up to household and copy this and do the same process. Let me let me do it again. I will copy everything from here. And then I paste it. And then I will remove everything from the end till the question mark, All right? And I can remove the question mark. So that will be the URL for my second um, um, data set in Kobo Toolbox. So now I let me remove that one. Let me delete that one because I don't need it. What I need is it, it is it's that one, which is basically the URL from my client data set in Kobo. All right. So now I get the um, the URL from my data set. So we will um, import. Um, these that are set in Power BI. So let's go in my Power BI desktop and see how we can do that. For, but first, let's copy. Let's do a control C because we need to copy it. Just control C. And then we'll paste it in Power BI. Let's go in my Power BI to see how we can do that. All right. Now that I have my Power BI desktop open, so let's get um, our data set from um, Kobo Toolbox. Um, and we know that we have the URL and, and the URL as I we have it here. So we will uh, use that one. So um, again, let me do copy and copy, control C. And then um, in Power BI, um, I will go to get data. And basically this um, allow you to um, import data from multiple sources. But I know that um, um, my data set is in Kobo Toolbox and I have the URL, so I have to look um, and I have to connect it from the web. So I will look from the web. 
and uh, um, uh, uh, a window will be opened and I will just copy and paste the URL here. As you can see, I just control V and I um, paste it and I will click OK. All right, so um, now um, in the previous video, I we just click in, in uh, anonymous, but now we need to click um, basic. Why we need to click basic? Because in, in our Kobo account, we did not make our data set publicly shareable. So we will click basic and the basic option will ask us to provide the login and the password of our Kobo account. So. Um, we, we click basic and as you can see it asks me again the username and the password and I will enter my um, the username of my um, Kobo um, account and please note that here it's already it has already taken a, a, a KC humanitarian response info so I will just click um, um, the I will just enter the username so it will be the same and then I click and click enter my password. Once I'm done, I say connect. Again, the big difference is that I have to provide the username and the password of my Kubo account and because I'm using the basic option. In the previous video that I did, three years ago, we used Anonymous and then we had to make um, the data set publicly shareable in, in the Kobo so that here we don't need to provide the username or the password, which is not uh, the best practice. So the best practice is really to use the basic so that you can put the credential of your Kobo account, meaning your username and your password. So once I'm done with that, I just click connect. All right, so um, it will open a new um, window for me, which is basically uh, the Power Query um, editor window. So we can see that in the Power Query editor, um, it has imported all um, the column from my Kobo account. And, and this is where we can do some data transformation. But now we're not going to do some data transformation. We just need to import it. So please note that in that part here, applied step, this is where you have all the steps that Power BI have used to do this. So um, anytime that you will be doing data transformation, and we will see that in the second video that I will be releasing soon, a step of my data transformation will be, uh, will be uh, notified here, and I can see the transformation. So for, for now, I just, I just want to do the, um, I just want to bring my, the data in Kobo Toolbox into Power BI. So I can double check everything is there. And once I'm done, I will go to file and close and apply. If you just do apply, it will still bring the information, but your Power, your power Query will be still also open. So I don't need for now, I don't need for now the Power Query. So I will just close my Power Query and apply the step which was importing um, the, the data from um, Kobo Toolbox. All right. So you see it, it loading my data. Depending on the, of the weight of the data set, it, it will take some time. So now it's uh, loading, it's loading four rows. Okay, so you can see that my data set has been imported in Power BI, okay? All right, okay, once it is imported, um, I just need to give him a name, give this file a name. So I will just um, make file and save as. And now let's say, um, let, let, me, let me call it um, Kobo tutorial. Okay, 
So now I, I have imported my data set. If I, I have new um, data coming from um, coll or getting collecting collected from Kubuntu box, if I want to update and refresh, I just click here. So let me go in my Kubo account and add one more case. For now, you see I have four cases. So I will add one more case and the name of that person will be you. Okay, now that I am in my Kobo account and I have my questionnaire open, so let's enter one um, observation. So I will choose uh, region East. Your name, as I said, it will be you. I assume that you're a female and I guess you have, um, let's say 50 years old and you are, the project that you purchased is product A, B, C. Then I will submit it. Okay, let's go in our, in our Power BI to see this new data. All right, now that I'm back in my Power BI, um, in my Kobo tutorial, um, um, that I said. So let's um, refresh it and to see for you can see now we have you still have four cases, but remember I just add one more. So let's see if I refresh, I click refresh, what will happen? All right, so you see it has um, added my, um, my um, new data, it's you. Um, remember, we entered this U as a name. So basically, by just refreshing, uh, clicking the refreshing button, not only you can get the latest data, but this um, option, this button will also allow you to refresh any data transformation and visual that you have in your um, Power BI. Um, one last thing that I wanted to um, uh, remind you is that sometime when you connect um, to the web, you may not be um, be directed to enter your um, credential, and, and it's sometimes sometimes it's because you your um, Kobo Toolbox account has been already um, uh, accredited in your, in your Power BI. So to remove that, you will just go to um, Transform Data and Data Source Setting, and normally you see that my KC Humanitarian. Um, and for API data, blah, 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 has been already um, um, uh, uh, recorded as a, um, um, as a website that I can um, have permission without entering my password and login. So if you want to clear this and, and use another um, um, a Kobo account, you need to clear that permission because in when you clear that permission, it will remove it. So you say delete and then when you go in the get data and web, and when you click on the URL and it will ask you to enter the login of the other account and the password of the other account. So that was a tip that I wanted to uh, share with you. Okay, that close out uh, my video, the part one. In part two that I will be releasing soon, we will be going a little bit deeper on how to do data transformation and to automate, uh, automate um, the data transformation when uh, a data set is sitting in a Kobo toolbox but connected to Power BI. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me a thumb up. And don't forget to subscribe um, to my channel to get updates when I am releasing a new, a new video. Thank you.